Hello everyone, this is Matteo and today we are going to play with coloring books, apply a different style to an image, uh, transform a tiger into eyes and much more. So buckle up and let's get started. Okay, there's a lot of talk about sketch to image generation lately. Uh, that surprised me a little because it's uh, pretty easy to do and the technology has always been there. But it's true that today it's easier thanks to IP adapter style transfer. So this is a basic SDXL workflow. I'm using Proteus V03 as main checkpoint because it's a good general purpose uh, model. I'm adding an IP adapter advanced node, the unified loader and connect the model pipelines. As preset, I'm gonna go with plus. Now, let me grab the drawing that we are going to paint. I have this nice portrait, very autumnal. I send it to the latent space and connect it to the K sampler. I can lower the denoise, but it won't be enough to drive the generation. So I'm going to add a control net. The image is already a line art, so it makes sense to use a line art control net. All I need to do is to invert the image, so the lines uh, will be white and the background black. Now I can connect the pipelines and select the line height model. SDXL doesn't like strong conditioning, so I'm setting the strength and the end percent to 0.6. For the prompt I'm using something like illustration of a beautiful blonde woman with leaves on the hair. Ok, almost done. All left to do is to select a reference image for the IP adapter style. Let's start with this watercolor illustration. In the weight type I select style transfer and I think we are ready to go. Let me move the preview and the line art near the reference and generate. Ah, damn, this is better than I expected. I was gonna tell you that it's not as simple as it looks and that there's actually a lot of tinkering involved, but this was actually a piece of cake. Let's try with something more difficult like this style here. Yeah, uh, as you can see now the model got confused a little. To fix that we can try to lower the IP adapter weight to 0.9 and I'm also lowering the denoise uh, so the drawing gets more importance. And now it's much better. I can try a few more seeds to get rid of the stain on the face. And this is pretty cool, but I would like a stronger style closer to the reference. So first of all, I'm passing the image to a prep image for clip vision node and increase the sharpness as midge. Uh, if I generate now, the result should be more defined. Yeah, very nice and sharp. Now I can select the strong style transfer weight type and try again. This option will also transfer some other elements of the reference and not just the style, but still it can be useful sometimes. As you can see, it tried to add a jacket on the shoulder here. Uh, let's try another seat. Now we have a cool tattoo and of course I can try to lower the weight another little bit and the denoise, but it's just a matter of personal taste at this point. Ok, let me increase the difficulty level because we don't like simple. I want to try to go to photorealism now. I set the weight type to simple style transfer and the weight to 1.1. The denoise can be one because this won't be a drawing anymore, so I don't need to see the lines. For the reference I'll use Peggy and in the prompt I replace illustration with photo. Let's see how it goes. Honestly guys, this is impressive and addictive. Let's try with the jellyfish. Oh wow, this is cool. I think we have too much strength now. Yeah, okay, this is cool, but I can see the comments now saying that a portrait of a woman is too easy and the models are well trained for that. Okay, okay, I hear you. I have the drawing of this castle, we can try. 
and I'm going to go with this reference. Of course, if what you are trying to generate is close to the reference image, the result will be better. In the prompt, I'm writing illustration of a tiny castle with high towers in a peaceful spring morning. We might need to lower the noise again and increase the IP adapter weight back to 1. Yeah, the result is not perfect. There are many differences with the original drawing, but uh, still, the result is very impressive and the technology can be of great help for sketch artists and prototyping. Let's try another generation with this reference. And look how beautiful this is. And if you want, you can apply a second pass and upscaling and whatnot. Now, if the original image is a very rough sketch, like in this storyboard scene, uh, we might need a little more work to make a decent uh, generation. First of all, we need to convert this drawing into a line art with a preprocessor. In this case, I'm using realistic line art and the resolution will be 1280. I can get rid of the invert image and connect to the control net. We might need to play with the strength, but we'll check that later. In the prompt, I'll put cinematic shot of an old man standing over a small boat in the middle of the ocean at sunset. As per the style image, I'm using this old man at sea. I took these two reference images from a demo I've seen about the new style transfer feature of a famous online service. And this is the image that they generated. Uh, honestly, a little underwhelming despite the enthusiasm of the reviewer. But uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, there's no sun at the horizon, mostly because it's not present in the reference. But I can try to lower the control net strength to see if the generation follows the prompt better. Honestly, compared to the image from the online service, we did pretty good. Let me try a few more seats. Now oh, this is nice. But maybe we can do better with an image of an actual sunset, like this one. Well, you've got the point. By playing with the noise in the case sampler, weight in the IP adapter and the control net strength, you are usually able to reach very decent results. There's no silver bullet configuration, this is not magic, and it's definitely not going to change everything. It's just a very powerful tool at your disposal. If you understand how it works, you'll be able to get great images out of it, but don't think that you can send whatever reference and have perfect results with no effort. Uh, because that is not the case. That being said, all workflows in this video are available to download for free, no pattern required, but if you find my content useful and you want me to keep posting not only videos but also new code like the IP adapter, then you may consider sponsorship. On the other hand, if you are a company making money out of my work, well, it's in your own interest to sponsor further development and get updates and new features. For everybody else, if you can't afford it, don't feel bad, I'm happy to help anyway. Okay, back on track. We've covered the Linear Control Net, let's see what we can do with depth. This time I'm going to do in-painting, so I chose an in-painting checkpoint. Deliberate V4 is a good generic model. Then we need a base image. I have this picture of a tiger, which seems cool, but to make it cooler, I want to transform it into an ice tiger. I'm not sure what the size is of this picture, so I'm going to scale it down with image resize. If I set the width to 1024 and height to 0, with the Keep Proportion option, the image will be scaled to 1024 by whatever, keeping the original aspect ratio. Then I convert this image into a depth map. There are many preprocessors to do that. I'll use Depth Anything at the resolution of 1024. 
Let's see what we've done. I disable the final generation for a moment and add a preview image. Okay, perfect. Now I need the control net. Let me make room for it and add a control net advanced node. Connect positive and negative, the depth map, and of course the model that will be depth. Now the in painting. I add an in painting model conditioning node, connect all the pipes, and the tiger image. We also need a mask. I could draw it manually, but I'm lazy, so I'm using RAMBG uh, to cut out the tiger. So image remove background, uh, the model, connect the image, and we are done. Let me preview it with a mask preview. Okay, perfect. I send the mask to the in-paint and we are almost ready. In the prompt, I've put a tiger made of eyes. Note that I lowered the weight of tiger quite a bit, uh, because tiger is a very strong concept for the model and we don't want any orange and black stripes. Okay, I can try to generate, but you'll see that this is not gonna work. Yeah, no trace of eyes. I guess you know what I need to do next. Yeah, add an IP adapter and the unified loader with a plus model, then the pipelines and the reference image. I have this iceberg picture that should do. That's it, let's give it a try. Damn, isn't it cool? If I zoom in, you'll see that the outline is a bit jagged and I can try to fix that with a differential diffusion node. Super simple, just tap it to the model pipeline. If I generate again, you'll see that the border is a tiny bit better. Maybe I should also add a grow mask. Four pixels should be enough. And um, yeah, much better. Let me generate a few more just to check that this is not just a seed luck. Ah, this is really cool. And I would need to do some detailing on the head, but overall it's pretty good. We can also try another material. I have this plate picture that should turn out nice. And in the prompt, I replace eyes with porcelain. You can't really go wrong. Let me also try to increase the weight of the IP adapter to 1.2. Yeah, very nice decorations. Okay, I'm getting carried away here. This is really fun, but I have more ground to cover. Last topic of the day. What if I want to apply a style to an image that I already have? Here I have the photo of a cheerful lady and I want to give her a more artistic style. I'm using Juggernaut as the Excel this time. You can use any model, but this technique is not ideal for turbo or lightning models because we want fine grained control over the denoise and with very few steps, we don't have that luxury. So let's start by adding an IP adapter style and composition node the unified loader, and you know the drip by now. For the reference, I'm using this painting connected to a prep image for clip vision because I really want to catch all the details. For the composition, I'm using my original image. In the prompt for the moment, I only have illustration of a woman smiling. Okay, let's see how it goes. Well, we are pretty far still. First thing, I can try to lower the noise to like 0.75 and try again. Now we are certainly closer, but the girl is still different. One thing that I notice is that the image looks more like an illustration than a painting, and I can fix that by optimizing the prompt. Let's describe the scene better. Painting of a woman smiling, open mouth, closed eyes. We should probably also prompt the background, but uh, should be enough for now. Yeah, indeed, it's more artistry, and if I zoom in, you can also see the brush strokes. Now I want to try to catch the likeliness of this girl better. To do that, I will add a control net. So I add an apply control net node, and for the model, this time I'm going to try Cunning. There are many candy models for SDXL. Here I'm using the diffusers variant. Now I need a candy preprocessor and connect the image and the control net. 
To find the right values for the preprocessor, I need a preview and I'm disabling the generation for a moment. Okay, let's see. This is certainly not enough. So by lowering the two values, I can make a few tests uh, until I'm satisfied. Okay, this should work. For the control net strength, I'll go 0.75 and it can be pretty high this time because the, the noise is lower. Okay, I re-enable the generation and check the result. And now we are really close. I can also increase the IP adapter weight a little and try a few more seeds. This is a very simple composition, so the model doesn't have much problems dealing with the pose, but if the original reference is more complicated, this setup might not be enough. To stay even closer, I can add a depth control net that will help with the volumes. So I'm duplicating the control net, the model will be depth and the preprocessor depth anything. Resolution 960, connect the image and to the control net. The weight this time will be different. I want to set the composition at the beginning, but give freedom to the model very early. So I'm setting the strength to 1, but the end percent at 0.3. All left to do is to connect positive and negative and generate. And that's pretty much it. Just remember that each image is different. This configuration works with this picture, but you will need to play with the two control net strengths, the IP adapter weight and the denoise. Again, this is not magic. Let's try with a different style, a Starry Night for example. Well, it's not too bad, but we probably need to increase the denoise now. 0.9 should do. Yeah, better. And now it's up to the diligent student to fix the prompt and calibrate the control nets for optimal results. Okay, one last thing, but it's very important. It is of course better if the style image is close to what you want to do. So for example, if you want to generate the picture of a woman, it's better not to send the reference of a man. But no matter the style image, you often get some bleeding of the concepts because the model doesn't really know what is style and what is composition. Let me grab this pencil drawing of a cat, for example. Uh, I'm changing the prompt to graphite drawing and see what happens. If I zoom in, you'll see that the model tried to put four on the woman's face. To try to fix that, we can use the negative image prompt. So I need an IP adapter noise node, I connect it to the style reference image and set the strength pretty high. This will vary from image to image, but let's try with 0.75. For the noise type, I choose Gaussian, uh, works very well, but you can experiment with the other options. If I preview the image, you'll see that it's just our cat with a lot of noise on top. Now I connect this to the negative image of the IP adapter and this will help the model exclude unwanted details. We basically said the IP adapter that yes, we want the style of this drawing of a cat, but we don't want anything else from it. Uh, on top, we add the noise because otherwise the model would remove uh, too much of the original cat picture. And that's it. You are now a master of the style transfer. Okay, I think we unpacked really a lot this time. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration for your workflows. That's all for today. See you next time. Ciao.